from the modelers it is the Toyota Camry G leather package for 2017 it is the full risen kit and it is today's what's in the box hey guys welcome to what's in the box and today we are taking a look at the Toyota Camry G leather G leather package uh, for the 2017 model year I believe from the modelers and this is going to be their full risen kit and this one's been out for a while now it's been out for a couple of months uh, even maybe a bit longer than that it took me a while to get wine I had mine on pre-order it, it took Hobby Link Japan uh, a good amount of time after it was initially released to get some in I think it was about a two month time I wasn't even sure if I was going to get one it was taking a long time and it finally I finally got a payment notice for it so here it is so it's been out for a while now and again, this is going to be a full risen kit from the modelers, but they make, they make some of the nicest risen I've ever seen. It is top notch, worth the money. I think this is about an $80 risen kit from them. This is only also going to be for the Asia ver, um, market, and I think Australia market as well. Any Most markets where they have right hand drive, this is going to be for that um, region. And this is the kit only has a right hand drive dash. In it, and there's some other things uh, on it as well that uh, are indicative to those areas uh, like Asia and whatnot. A couple of uh, some things that are on the grill and whatnot that we don't have on our Camrys here. So that is, so you cannot we cannot build a U.S. version of the Camry from this kit. But it really shouldn't be too hard. Really, somebody could maybe make up a left-hand drive dashboard and a, and a new grill piece and what have you. And, Maybe we can have a right uh, US version. Anyways, now for that, let's take a look at the Toyota Camry. There you can see the body. I have to admit the body looks really, really good. The modelers, they do a fantastic job with their casting. This is some of the best casting, I think, on the planet. And when it comes to Risen casting, they just do a wonderful job. I mean, it looks better than some um, ejected molded plastic model kits on the market as well. It's just a very nice looking body. Just overall a nice looking risen kit. I think this is one of the best ones they've done so far. There's a little bit of weight to this to the body as well. It's pretty heavy. It probably it probably weighs um you yeah, know I have no idea how much it weighs, but it weighs a good amount. There's some heft there's some girth to it. There's some heft to it. Uh, but that comes with being a full risen body. Now we'll take a look at the chassis and interior area if you will. The first will be the top side of the uh, chassis plate. As you can see, you'll be building the, the interior from on it, on this platform. So the seats will go, front and rear seats will go there, center console. Oh, that there is your interior floor. Over and there is the undercarriage. Pretty basic, almost not even worth uh, even trying to do some detail painting. Pretty much all, I think I'll just paint it flat black and call it a day. So that is the chassis plate. So now we're going to take a look at the rest of the parts. I'm just going to leave them in the packaging. Just like you can get, you'll give you, still get a good idea of how they look. So there you got your door panels, your dashboard there on the left, your rear seat there just below it, package tray shelf there up top, center console. This is going to be the uh, lower grill piece there. Then moving on down here, your, your front seats. Headlight and taillight lenses. These are some really nice, nicely done. Uh, almost as good as uh, uh, clear plastic. Really, really nice. Wiper blades down there. Interior headlight buckets. Muffler, your steering column. Pedals and some other bits in there. Your mirrors. Steering wheel. Your stereo door handles. Here you got your brake rotors. Your poly caps. And then the wheels themselves. Wheels and tires. Uh, the tires are going to be a uh, hard risen, no sidewall detail. I know that really didn't get in focus much. Let's try that again. Let's see if it'll work this time. There's the tires, hard plastic, or excuse me, hard risen.
Now we're going to move on to the bag content. And the first will be this, if I can pick it up, this photo etch sheet, which has the which has the side trim pieces, the front windshield trim piece, uh, bead pillar trim, your brake rotors, some marker, some markings, light marker lights, brake rotors, bag that contains the metal axles and the screws. And some of the decal sheets. Now, there's the decal sheet. You have seat decals, center console decals, dash decals, a bunch of decals for the inside, interior compartment. Oh, nicely, nicely looking decal sheet, I will have to say. Uh, chrome faces for <laughs> your mirrors for the ex for your for the mirrors and I believe they're gonna be all exterior markings there and uh, finally the windows so you got your windshield with the trim already done the rear window with the defroster lines as well and these side windows, which have a, uh, a clear, transparent green aquaceous protector film over it. Actually, I think that was more teal. Anyways, there you have it, folks. That is the Toyota Camry G Leather Package 2017 from the Modelers. Their full risen kit. Although the listing says metal and risen, it's mostly risen. Anyways, it's a very nice kit worth the money if you're uh, uh, into the Camry, Toyota Camry. But uh, honestly, all of their Risen kits are really worth the money. They are top-notch, very nicely done Risen kits, if you're into Risen stuff. I'm not a big, huge fan of Risen. But anyway, so they have it. That is the, to the Toyota Camry. So on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.